From an unwelcome champagne shower to accusations of racist tweets, people love to hate Brittany Mahomes. Here's a deeper look at why. Back when they were high school sweethearts in Texas, Brittany Mahomes and Patrick Mahomes' first date was at an Olive Garden. Of course, today they can dine at pretty much any posh restaurant in the U.S. Money also seems to be no object when it comes to getting birthday presents for their kids, such as the time the couple bought their two-year-old daughter Sterling a purse for her birthday. And it wasn't just any purse. We're talking about a Chanel pocketbook for the baby to store her valuables in. And at a mere price tag of $4,800, no less. Brittany shared the moment Sterling received the gift in a video on her Instagram stories. Did you get a new purse? In response, the baby seemed more interested in the piece of toast she was eating. Some folks who watched the video appear to share Sterling's lack of enthusiasm. When people reported the story on Twitter, many responded by chastising the couple for selecting a gift far too valuable for a toddler to comprehend. One user responded, She would be happier with a plastic Disney purse. To be honest, that's not even attractive, it's just for status. Meanwhile, another chimed in to say, Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Ridiculous. The Kansas City Chiefs have been particularly obsessed with beating the Cincinnati Bengals, a team that robbed them of a chance to reach the Super Bowl in 2022. No fan apparently experienced that pain more than Brittany Mahomes, who felt the referee stole a game from her husband's squad in December of 2022. After the Chiefs lost to the Bengals, Brittany lamented on Twitter, I mean, at this point, it's just a joke. We can never catch a break. It was a mock boo-hoo moment among victorious Bengals fans, who castigated Brittany online for her comments. In response to another frustrated tweet from her an hour later, one user wrote, Your play-by-play -play isn't necessary. But after the Chiefs exacted revenge against the Bengals in the conference final, it was Brittany's turn to gloat, as she tweeted, Cancun on three, along with a victory hand emoji. The phrase is a sports riff directed at a team drugged out of postseason contention. In this case, the post also appeared to be a subtweet to Cincinnati cornerback Eli Apple. He had previously used that same phrase while mocking his team's defeat of the Buffalo Bills the previous week. Still, Bengals fans were not amused, with one user responding, You are the reason your husband has so many haters. Others begrudgingly saw the humor, with one noting, As a Bengals fan, congrats. It's no surprise that you'll find a few NFL stars like Joe Namath and Reggie Bush who have led Playboy lifestyles in their prime, but it doesn't appear that Patrick Mahomes is cut from the same carnal cloth. Brittany Mahomes has a lot to do with that as an attractive and successful entrepreneur with her own extensive sports past. However, she still keeps her eyes on those who fawn over her famous husband. He is my best friend in the whole world. She explained on an episode of the Shootin' It with Soph podcast, it's always going to be a worry for any girl that's dating an NFL boyfriend, but you just have to know that the girls are there for that only, and so you just can't let it get to you. While she added that she puts up the women wanting to take a selfie with Patrick, it's a different situation when female fans directly message him on social media hoping for an in-person meet. However, she insisted she simply has to shrug them off. Instead, Brittany insisted that the more hurtful side of social media came from the harassment and insults she regularly received from both men and women. She added, I had to change my phone number because people were texting me and harassing me and saying all these mean, hateful things to me. In June 2022, three months after they got married, Patrick and Brittany Mahomes held a gender reveal party for their second child that she highlighted on Twitter. Brittany captioned the post with a cryptic, take a guess. Guaranteed boy. Amidst a backdrop of balloons filling the household, the couple sprayed blue paint onto a gender reveal sign, signifying that Brittany was carrying what would be a boy. Patrick was so taken by that moment that he dashed outside for a fully clothed leap into the swimming pool. For friends, family, and followers, the occasion was pure bliss. Unfortunately, others weren't thrilled over the news surrounding the impending arrival of the boy, whom they named Bronze once he was born. In response to the family video, one cynic tweeted, Poor Patrick, she's really trapping him good. Another shared similar feelings about the celebrations, writing, Congrats to Patrick and his annoying wife. Nothing says sweet victory like uncorking a bottle of the good stuff to celebrate the occasion, or so Brittany Mahomes thought. In 2022, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills in a division playoff game that helped pave the way to the team's second Super Bowl victory in three years. 
From the comfort of her skybox, Brittany appeared to get swept up by the moment and decided to open up a bottle of champagne and spray it over the Arrowhead Stadium crowd below her. She documented the momentous occasion with a video on Instagram, capped with the euphoric caption, Chief's Kingdom, y'all rock. But it turned out that those fans were not amused over being drenched by all that bubbly while enduring freezing temperatures in an outdoor stadium. On Instagram, one respondent chastised her by writing, She should be ashamed of this. She got a lot of backlash for squirting fans in the cold. Another upset fan commented, Gross behavior to do that to fans and children in freezing weather. When she addressed the situation, Brittany didn't display any remorse, tweeting, I just wish I could do what I want without getting attacked every week. Brittany Mahomes has been in a relationship with Patrick Mahomes for over a decade. Like her husband, she also fully backs the Black Lives Matter movement and supported former San Francisco QB Colin Kaepernick when he angered stalwart patriots by kneeling during the national anthem. All of this makes some unearthed posts she shared many years earlier all the more mystifying. Shortly after Brittany and Patrick were licking their wounds in the wake of a Super Bowl loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2021, she received even more damaging news about a tweet she posted in 2016 that others deemed racist. The since-deleted post read, Just hit the quan with some black girls. My life's complete. It prompted a slew of responses, including one tweet that read, Not a good look. Another deleted tweet from two years earlier also received criticism. It stated, Last time I was rubbing lotion all over black guys. It's difficult to decipher the intent of the posts without knowing their context. However, whether she was trying to be humorous or not, the general response to her tweets suggests her statements were insulting enough either way. The timing of their emergence might not be coincidental either. Britney's antagonists might have used those posts to further irritate her after the Chiefs lost the league final. Britney Mahomes' social media presence clearly riles up a few non-fans. You know it's gonna be good because these two babies are included! And evidently, the media hasn't been on her side throughout it all, either. In their report of the notorious Champagne incident of 2022, the conservative Daily Caller claimed that a gulf existed between her and loyal Chiefs fans, and that she was blissfully unaware of why. Writing for the outlet, David Hookstead had this to say, She sprayed champagne on complete strangers like they were peasants and she was royalty. Does she truly not understand why people are upset? Likewise, First Sports took Britney to task over her complaints about being pregnant while her family's palatial digs were still being built. The writer noted that Twitter folks weren't particularly sympathetic, writing, They immediately called out Britney Mahomes for her privilege and rich lifestyle. The family's main home is worth roughly $1.8 million, but they also own three other properties that are collectively worth $8 million. In an op-ed written by Rob Bro for Talk 103.9, the author argued that Britney is successful in her own right, and that she doesn't need to bench press her way to fame or relevance via social media. I define success as, you know, not how much money you make, but how much of a difference you're making to people in the world. Bro also speculated that her arrogance, and that of Patrick's brother Jackson, stood in distinct contrast to the attitude of her husband, writing, Mahomes is always humble. Their online personas feed into the hate that they receive on social media, and it's amplified because Patrick Mahomes is the face of the NFL. Accusations of having a cavalier attitude toward regular folks are one thing, but a lack of intelligence is another. To that end, Brittany Mahomes' haters have yet to cease questioning the amount of gray matter in her cranium. Clearly, the writers at Barstool Sports aren't exactly enamored with Brittany and Patrick's brother Jackson, calling them the two biggest morons on the planet. Additionally, OutKick thought Britney was not thinking clearly when she wrote a tweet shortly after the Chiefs won Super Bowl 57 against the Philadelphia Eagles. The tweet read, I think a lot of people need to apologize for what they said about this team at the beginning of this season. In response to her, David Hookstead wrote in OutKick, This is an all-time bizarre tweet. Apologize? She wants people to apologize? For what? Meanwhile, in an op-ed for Fox News, Joe Kinsey addressed Britney's outburst regarding the way that Chiefs games have been officiated. He ordered a damning indictment regarding her behavior, as well as that of Jackson Mahomes. Kinsey wrote, At some point, this clown show is coming to your city. These whiny, entitled idiots will eventually show up in your city playing the victim card and pumping out TikTok dance videos. It's no secret that Brittany Mahomes fully supports her husband Patrick Mahomes in what he does for a living. It's also a sure bet her vocal backing might have helped to inspire him to lead the Kansas City Chiefs to two Super Bowl titles. Still, one could argue that she goes overboard at times and can be a little insensitive to people who find her irritating. 
but that doesn't excuse her more extreme opponents for comments that defy tolerance. Case in point was one tweet referring to Britney that shockingly read, "'If I was stuck with this woman for life, I'd kill myself.'" However, her response on Instagram stories was nothing short of tactful. Britney said, "'Making comments like this are very, very concerning but also highly inappropriate. Killing yourself is not a term to just be throwing around like this." While Britney's tweets can be provocative, they're relatively inoffensive for the most part. To that end, she challenges those opting for the hateful route. In 2020, she tweeted, "'I wish that every person that made a dumbass, hurtful, or rude comment to someone on social media, that I could just sit them down, look them in their eyes, and say, what the heck is wrong with you? What are you doing?' While she's admitted that offensive and insulting comments can get to her, evidently, they won't be enough for her to stop speaking her mind.